this has been a dream of mine. It's like, is it going to be like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, I got the wireless go too. It's so popular that the guy said they sold 40 units of these in two weeks. Yes, it's like almost double the price of the original first edition, but I heard that they heard all the advice, reviews, complaints, pros, cons from the first one, and they put all that in the second one. So I was like, I might as well go for the all-in one, you know, the ones that they've already learned from their mistakes. Because I know the value of learning from your mistakes as a creator. Uh, so I was like, mm, might as well get the, the best one. So we're going to try to use it today. Yo, this looks so sick, by the way. One receiver, two transmitters, three fluffs that supposedly have a lock function now rather than just like a magnetic one that is easily like blown away. Sorry, I literally only have five minutes before I have to go meet them. Going on this factory tour is literally a childhood dream. I don't even know how many times I've driven past this and wondered what magic goes on behind the scenes. So what actually made me gain access this time is that I have been doing a partnership with Purdy's to relaunch their campfire bars which are delectable and I will show you the process from beginning to end. But I was thinking, hey, you know what? There's probably other people that have never seen what's in the inside and have the same curiosity as me. So here I am vlogging my whole adventure and I hope that you get excited just as much and hopefully you get to embark on it one day yourself. But let's get started! <laughs> chocolate factory before? No, this is my first time, so I'm coming from a blank slate. <laughs> There's two different ways to make a chocolate. One is called enrobing, which is where you make a center, and then it goes under a chocolate fountain or waterfall to get a chocolate coating on it. That's what happens with campfire bars. So we make the, the caramel and the marshmallow layers together, then we cut them, we put them on top of the graham wafer, and then we put them through the enrober or the chocolate waterfall. There's also molding, which is where you use a mold to make a specific shape. So we do both of those things here and we'll see both happen. So here, the brush controls how much air is in the wrapper. Because if you have too much, you can't fit your product into your case. And if you don't have enough, it doesn't protect the product. And then here, this is an iron that's circulating and it's sealing both ends of the package closed and separating them. And then they just come out finished right at the end here. So this way, if the person can't keep up, they all get caught and spun around and then she can continue packing. Oh my gosh, this is the milk chocolate waterfall. Right there, right there, y'all. My dad would want to bathe in this one, and I want to bathe in the milk chocolate. They touch each chocolate by hand to make the swirl on top of the cordial cherry for the design. Takes about 12 minutes to travel down the whole tunnel for cooling. So these ones are actually finished, and then they'll come to the end and get packaged right away. The, the, all the trays with the nuts and the caramel come through here and they put the chocolate on and uh, it goes through this tunnel and gets cooled and then packaged. Speed Charger Bounds are made with these crunchy roasted pecans with soft caramel and milk chocolate and I realized they have dark chocolate too. Ooh, yummy! <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted to sneak a bite. You can go a little closer if you want but you can feel how hot it is. This is gonna bring it all the way down. 15 minutes for it to, to cool. Oh. So they have a totally different texture because the ingredients are different. They're both sugar and butter based, but one has cream and the other one doesn't. Purdy's does an amazing job of ensuring that people all across the company are educated in chocolate. 
That means the kitchen team is equipped with frequent lessons on why they do what they do, for example, learning the theories behind the processes themselves, and not just simply getting the work done. That's what I love about the world of chocolate. It can be explored in so many ways. And like, trust me, Purdy's is that place where your mind is just being open to so many possibilities. I know that they've been taste testing a few recipes that are coming up in the next few months and even next year. Yes, they're preparing for next year as we speak. That's the life I wanna live. Just being drowned in chocolate all day. Oh my goodness, that was only the first layer of chocolate. So I'm gonna add a graham cracker to the bottom after this section and then enrobe it again. So there's even more chocolate. That's incredible. Okay, I'm back at Dan's and I'm getting him to taste the fresh chocolate off the, the how do you even say it? The off the belt. Chocolate bar with almonds. Oh, I like that. English toffee bar with crushed oh. almonds on the outside. I, I might prefer this. And wait, this is the inside of the campfire bar with caramel and marshmallow. Wow. I think you'll prefer this as well. Yeah, probably. This is the campfire bar straight off of the, the oven. Sure, the oven. No kidding, this is like the almond rocker. Roast the nuts. I saw them have a whole room just for roasting wow. the nuts. And they have this thing where it's called a laser machine where it kind of detects if there's shells or oh, things that's not wow. supposed to be in the yeah. mix. And it was like, ding, ding, ding. And then... And it takes it out. And then there you have an oil roaster. And then finally, one that actually chops the nuts as well. Wow. Purdy's used to do factory tours, but because of the pandemic and everything, obviously you don't want to have any one contaminating food. They used to, when you go on the tours, actually allow mm. you to take chocolates off the belt, yeah. fresh out of it. And I was like, wow, that's literally a chocolate in the chocolate factory, Willy Wonka moment. Mm. So this is as close as it gets for them to take it off for us and save it on the side. Hey you, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, feel free to hit subscribe, like, or even place a comment below. And if you want to stay tuned every Friday, make sure you hit that notification bell. See you next time.